Want to know if your Greek skills are improving and what your real learning level is? Get your language skills assessed with our free level assessment test. Just click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get assessed. Yeah, let me see. Hi, everybody. I'm Chrissy. Welcome to GreekPod101.com's Elinika Setria Lepta. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Greek. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Greek. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Iste etimi? Are you ready? Ksekiname, so let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It is just one word. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ means thanks. When saying thanks very much, you just need to add πολύ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Πολύ means a lot, so ευχαριστώ πολύ is like saying thanks very much. During the last lesson, we talked about both the informal and the formal way of speaking Greek. Ευχαριστώ is a casual way to thank someone. If you want to be more formal, there is another phrase you should use. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ or σε ευχαριστώ πολύ. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ or σε ευχαριστώ πολύ. Let's break this phrase down. The σε or σας before ευχαριστώ πολύ literally means you in the second person singular and the second person plural, which is the form used for being formal in Greek. In the plain ευχαριστώ, there is no you included, but here we use it and make the phrase sound more polite. Depending on the formality of the situation, we will use σε or σας. How do you answer? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is τίποτα. Τίποτα. Τίποτα literally means it's nothing but it is the equivalent of you are welcome. The other way to say you're welcome is the expression παρακαλώ. Παρακαλώ. Literally, this phrase means I beg or please, but it has become a common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone says ευχαριστώ to you, we can simply reply with τίποτα or παρακαλώ. Now it's time for Chris's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use ευχαριστώ or σας ευχαριστώ πολύ, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Ευχαριστώ can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. Do you know what adio means? In our next lesson, you'll learn this and other greetings in Greek. Adio και ευχαριστώ. Ραντεβού στο επόμενο μάθημα. Welcome to GreekPod101.com's Elinika Citria Lepta. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Greek. Ya, lego me Chrissy, hiero poli. Hi, I'm Chrissy. Pleased to meet you. In this series, we are going to learn basic Greek expressions. It is super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Greek. There are only two sentences you need to do it. But first, it is important to clarify that in Greek, there is a difference between formal and informal language. Let's first see how Greek people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Ya, lego me Chrissy, hiero poli. Hi, I'm Chrissy, pleased to meet you. Ya, lego me Chrissy, hiero poli. Start by saying, ya, lego me, then say your name. Ya, lego me Chrissy. Finally, say, hiero poli. Ya, lego me Chrissy. Χαίροπολί. And now let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Χαίρετε. Λέγω με Χρυσή Παπαδοπούλου. Χαίροπολί για τη γνωριμία. Hello. My name is Χρυσή Παπαδοπούλου. Pleased to make your acquaintance. 
Χαίρετε. Λέγομαι Χρυσή Παπαδοπούλου. Χαίρο πολύ για τη γνωριμία. So what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at this together. Ya has been substituted with the formal greeting χαίρετε, Greek for rejoice. Λέγομαι Χρυσή has not been changed. Λέγομαι stands in both cases for my name is. However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name. So I said Χρυσή Παπαδοπούλου. Here, you would say your full name. Finally, there is one more change to the ending. We added the words για τη γνωριμία to the phrase χαίρο πολύ. In informal cases, we can just say χαίρο πολύ, literally, I'm happy or pleased. But in formal cases, it's good to add για τη γνωριμία, which is Greek for the acquaintance, or in this case, your acquaintance. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Greek is ya, λέγω με χρυσή, χαίρο πολύ. The formal way to introduce yourself is χαίρετε, λέγω με χρυσή παπαδοπούλου, χαίρο πολύ για τη γνωριμία. Now it's time for Chris's insights. Greek people usually shake hands when they meet someone, sometimes extremely vigorously. So accompany your introduction with your best firm handshake. And if you're not sure if you have to use the formal or the informal greeting, the informal greeting χαίρο πολύ is not considered rude. It is acceptable and used widely even in formal situations. Do you know how we say thank you in Greek? You learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Θα τα ξαναπούμε στο επόμενο μάθημα. See you then! Did you take your free level assessment yet? Here's an extra bonus resource you'll get when you take the assessment. When you receive your result and learning level, you also unlock a free language course for your specific level, so you can start learning and level up your language skills. Just click the link in the description to get access. Yeah, let me see. Hi everybody, I'm Chrissy. Welcome to GreekPod101.com's Elinika Setrialepta. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Greek. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Greek. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you are asking it in Greek, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here is the informal way to say it. Milas aglika. Milas aglika. Milas is to speak, and aglika is English. In Greek, verbs change depending on who the subject is. The word milas is conjugated from the verb milao which means to speak. By the ending S, we understand this is the second person singular. This is the informal way to say you speak. You will notice that the personal pronoun itself, the word you, is missing. This happens very often in Greek. Because the verb ending changes depending on the subject, you don't need to actually say the subject in order to be understood. To learn how to properly conjugate omega verbs like milao, please look at our Absolute Beginner series on GreekPod101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. We are now going to make the sentence formal. This is done by using the formal version of you, which is a cis. If we change the word for you, we will conjugate milao differently. It becomes milate. Everything else stays the same. Milate aglika. Milate aglika. Adding signomi, excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Signomi, milate aglika. Signomi, milate aglika. 
The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ne. Yes. Ne. Ligo. A little. Ligo. Όχι, δεν μιλάω αγγλικά. No, I don't speak English. Όχι, δεν μιλάω αγγλικά. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to say then or the before the verb μιλάω. Here you can also notice what we mentioned before. The personal pronoun εγώ, that is I, is not used since the ending of the verb shows that it is the first person. Now it's time for Chris's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Greek people study other European languages, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute aglica with Italica for Italian, Rosica for Russian, Hispanica for Spanish, Germanica for German. In this lesson, we mentioned the expression signomi. But did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Greek. It's never too late to show your good manners with Greek people. I'll see you in our next Elinika se tria lepta lesson. Ya! Yeah. Yeah, Lego Chrissy. Hi everybody, I'm Chrissy. Welcome to GreekPod101.com's Elinika Setria Lepta. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Greek. In our last lesson, we learned how to use Signomi, Mesinchorite and Lipame when apologizing in Greek. In this lesson, we are going to learn something even more practical. How to count from 1 to 10 in Greek. And we'll learn them all in 3 minutes. Tria Lepta. Are you ready? Let's start. Ena, e na. Dio, dio. Tria, tria. Tessera, tessera. Pende, pende. Exi, exi. Epta, epta. Octo, octo. Enea. E ne a veca veca. Okay, now repeat after me. I will say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Ena, Vio, Tria, Tessera, Pende, Exi, Epta. Octo, Enea, Veca. Great job! What is before Enna? Do you know? Yes, it's zero. In Greek, it's mi then. Mi then. So now, you can count pretty much anything and do other useful stuff like giving your friends your cell phone number and writing down theirs. Let's see how to do that in Greek. We'll use the phrase o arithmos mu ine, which means my number is. O arithmos mu ine. O arithmos mu ine. Exi. Enea. Epta. Octo. Pende. Tessera. Tria. Dio. Miden. Can you read it by yourself? Exi, enea, efta, octo, pende, tessera, tria, dio, miden. Okay? Great! Now it's time for Chris's insights. Like most words in Greek, numbers are gender sensitive. The numbers we learn today are used when counting neuter objects. The masculine and feminine numbers are almost the same 
but with slight differences for the numbers 1 through 4. We won't get into this for now since, with the neuter numbers, you can do most things. Even if you use the wrong gender, Greeks will understand you. Do you know the Greek word for a hundred? If you don't, don't worry. In the next lesson, we are going to learn the numbers from 11 to 100 in Greek. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson from 1 to 10. I'll be waiting for you in our next Ελληνικά σε τρία λεπτά lesson. Θα τα ξαναπούμε στο επόμενο μάθημα. Yeah, λέγομαι Χρυσή. Hi, everybody. I'm Chrissy. Welcome to GreekPod101.com's Ελληνικά σε τρία λεπτά. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Greek. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Greek. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Είστε έτοιμοι? Are you ready? Ξεκινάμε, so let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It is just one word. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ means thanks. When saying thanks very much, you just need to add πολύ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Πολύ means a lot, so ευχαριστώ πολύ is like saying thanks very much. During the last lesson, we talked about both the informal and the formal way of speaking Greek. Ευχαριστώ is a casual way to thank someone. If you want to be more formal, there is another phrase you should use. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ or σε ευχαριστώ πολύ. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ or σε ευχαριστώ πολύ. Let's break this phrase down. The σε or σας before ευχαριστώ πολύ literally means you in the second person singular and the second person plural, which is the form used for being formal in Greek. In the plain ευχαριστώ, there is no you included, but here we use it and make the phrase sound more polite. Depending on the formality of the situation, we will use σε or σας. How do you answer? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is τίποτα. Τίποτα. Τίποτα literally means it's nothing but it is the equivalent of you are welcome. The other way to say you're welcome is the expression παρακαλώ. Παρακαλώ. Literally, this phrase means I beg or please, but it has become a common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone says ευχαριστώ to you, we can simply reply with τίποτα or παρακαλώ. Now it's time for Chris's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use ευχαριστώ or σας ευχαριστώ πολύ, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Ευχαριστώ can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. Do you know what a deal means? In our next lesson, you learn this and other greetings in Greek. Adio και ευχαριστώ. Ραντεβού στο επόμενο μάθημα. Now that you're finished with this lesson, want to know if your Greek skills have improved? Take our free assessment test to assess your language. Discover your true learning level and get free access to a language course for your specific level. An easy to follow course where you learn the real language, the everyday conversations that you'll soon have and absorb these practical conversations just by listening along with quick audio and video lessons from real teachers. So click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get assessed.